I'm Del Rogers, live outside our Case Area 3 studios. This truck right here is a NASCAR car hauler. It's 75 feet long from one end to the other. And when we come back a little bit later in sports, I will give you a tour inside of this truck. I know you've seen them going up and down the highways. Plus, I'll tell you why they are in Northern California. A lot for that, and Mark. You know, Dell's not sitting next to us. He's out in the parking lot getting ready to do some shaking and baking there, buddy. Well, I'm not going to do some shaking and baking, but I can shake and bake with you, brother. We're outside of our Case Area studios. This is a NASCAR car hauler, and as promised, we're going to be a tour inside. Now, Joe Fernandez, who drives this 75-footer, uh, he operates the elevator. Just want to give you a little teaser. The elevator on this deal. All right, Joe, hit it, buddy. He's also known as Joe Country because he drives all over the country in this big hauler. Welcome back. I'm Del Rogers live. I'm outside of our Case IRE 3 studios here in Sacramento. And in Northern California at the All-American Speedway in Roseville is the NASCAR K&M Pro Series. It takes place on Saturday. So these haulers are in town. And I know you've seen these haulers going up and down the freeway. This one is 75 foot long. So I asked Bill McAnally about McAnally Racing, who's ha who has five cars racing in this Saturday's event, to come out and let people see what actually is in the hauler. First of all, I don't see any cars. We'll get to that later. What kind of economic impact will this have on the city of Roseville bringing NASCAR here on national TV well NASCAR being in Roseville this Saturday night for the last six years Placer Valley tourism has honored us with us being the largest single day event to come into the county for economical impact and plus breast cancer is doing great for the awareness. all the proceeds from this race go to benefit Placer breast cancer endowment great so let's see what's in this 75 foot NASCAR car hauler we got a bunch of wood doors and stuff and I see here. Okay, we got? Everything in these cabinets we can need. It's like a mobile workshop. Things we need at the racetrack from our fuel cans, spare engines, okay. transmissions. Beautiful. What else you got? What else oh, you got? Oh, we got? Got to have the microwave, man. Okay, popcorn. popcorn. <laughs> right. Got to have a refrigerator, so okay. you got your soda pop. Let me see. Popcorn. There's some soda pops in. Okay, yeah. good, good. What, what else you got in here? Because I'm still waiting to see the cars. I don't see the cars in the car hauler. <laughs> We got nuts and bolts. Okay, you gotta have <laughs> everything you would need in shop. Got a big vice right here, Dale. Okay, I like it. So the shop car, your, your, the, the car itself is actually there's two of them, right? They're hauled upstairs. We've got a lift gate that lifts them up. We've wow. got a primary and a backup car that ride upstairs typically. Right. So that's where the two cars are. So there's two cars up here and everything else. And now I see another. Uh, looks like a lounge. This is. This is a little meeting room. Okay. We'll meet the uh, media in here and do interviews. I'll sit down with sponsors. Sponsors and okay. negotiate our. Uh, you like that? Yeah, I do. I do. We'll negotiate our sponsorships in here. We'll have team meetings, so it's uh, just a nice, quiet place to get together. Good. Hold this for me. I'm gonna do the sports. All right. Okay. Now here's a look at the schedule for the rest of the race week. Tomorrow, the gates at the All American Speedway open at two o'clock. Then on Saturday, the gates open at four. First race is at 4:30. The main race is the NASCAR k &M Pro Series. It's on national television, and it gets underway at 8:35. All the proceeds, as Bill said from this year's event will be donated to the Placer County Breast Cancer Foundation. Now the baseball, the postseason, the New York Mets and L.A. Dodgers met in Game 5, the decisive Game 5 of the National League Divisional Series. And it was a great weather in Southern California as the Mets and Dodgers played in a winner-take-all game. Top of the sixth inning, Danny Murphy. He jacked what turned out to be the game winner for the Mets. It's a solo home run. It broke a two-all tie. Mets win 3-2. to two. They're headed to the National League Championship Series. And now there are only five undefeated teams remaining in the NFL. That's because the New Orleans Saints handed the Atlanta Falcons their first loss of the season. This special team's touchdown by the Saints helped New Orleans win 31-21. to And Bill, you're doing a great job holding the mic. Sacramento Kings made a couple of roster moves today, releasing Marshall Hernandez and Vince Hunter. Their roster is now down to 16. Elsewhere in the NBA, the Warriors hosting the Rockets tonight. And as expected, Steph Curry was a Warriors sharpshooter. He had 29 points. Warriors win 123-101. to 101. Now to women's college soccer in a non-league match. Cal Berkeley hosting the Santa Clara Broncos and at the 61st minute Samantha Whitman, she boosts the game winner. UC Berkeley over Santa Clara. Final score is 1-0. to nothing. I'll do it here live in soccer. Hey, Dale, yes, Dale. Sir. Yes, sir. a NASCAR lounge area? Yeah, this is it not... works good for doing the sports, too. I know. Give me my mic back. <laughs> I'll do it here live inside of a NASCAR car hauler and 
you can't do sports anymore. Back to you. You're supposed to hold the mic, man. Back to we, you guys. We're wondering how come we didn't get invited yeah. up to the lounge. This, yeah, this is a nice lounge. This is leather. This is Corinthian yeah. leather. Yeah. Roberto Contraban. Yeah, make this leather. <laughs> yeah, Roberto Contraban. That's it. Right Something like that. You go, Montaban. Go look for some refreshments in the cabinet there. We'll be right back.